Okay team, let me show you some exercises with the kettlebell that are going to be excellent for your leg strength, the leg drive, core stability, core endurance, and then also flexibility. So, spine angle is so important in the golf swing. Maintaining that strong spine angle, you need core strength and core endurance. So you get to that back nine, if you don't have those things, just a little bit of variance in your spine angle is really going to throw off your ball strike. So these exercises are going to help. This first one is going to be a combination of a shoulder press and then a side bend. Okay, so I'm working through the obliques. I'm also getting a beautiful stretch. Watch the kettlebell is going to stay right over my shoulder as I get a nice stretch through this side, then also through my hamstring on the left side. Next, the basic swing. You've probably seen this one if you've worked with kettlebells. Okay, now, great exercise for your leg power, hip power through the glutes. But what I want you to think about when you're doing this exercise for your golf swing is that your arms are just along for the ride. So all the power comes from those strong legs. So again, when you do this exercise, try to relate it to your golf swing that all the power in the golf swing comes from your leg drive and that upper body is just along for the ride. Next, the Turkish get up. I love this one. This is gonna be a giddy up for your golf swing. So I'm gonna show you three different levels. The first one is just coming to this position. So I'm still on my arm. Great oblique exercise. The next one, I'm gonna come a little bit higher. Just as equally important is to control the eccentric phase on the way down. And then, if you're feeling saucy, you can come all the way up onto your arm. Again, controlling it down. Excellent core exercise, core endurance and core strength. Okay, the last one combines a bunch of different exercises with the kettlebell and we're gonna use your total gym. On a very low level, by the way, because we're gonna be doing a reverse lunge. So the first part of the exercise is the good old clean and jerk. So you're gonna do five, five, and five. So again, powerful leg. Of course, you'll be using a lot heavier kettlebell than that kettlebell. Okay, so pretend I did five of those. From there, I'm gonna hold this and go into a reverse lunge. So strengthening the shoulder, it's an unstable surface, so I have to use my core to keep me balanced, coordination, proprioception. And then on the fifth one here, I'm gonna hold it down, get in a nice stretch through your hip flexor, and do five presses. Okay, good. So the Masters is right around the corner and you get all those golf juices flowing. So keep the comments and questions coming, and until next time, hit them straight.